Hi everybody, I'm standing here with Tommy P and this amazing display has been brought to you by Vintage Drum Guide. Tommy uh, put this display together and Tommy, this is amazing. Tell me why you did it and tell me how long it took you to do it. The reason I did it is I'm a buddy freak like so many people are, I guess, of our era. It just occurred to me one day, I couldn't collect all his drum sets. I had a couple snares that he had played and it hit me, what if I were to put together a collection of every snare drum he actively played between like, say, 1950 and 1982. And that's what started this. How long has it taken you to do this? That is a great question. I'm asked that all the time. Approximately 17 years to find all these models. What's interesting about these, the models are correct to the year he played them and the setup he would have played them on. Rap, hoops, lugs, the drums are all spot on. And that's what the toughest part. And how did you do that? By looking at recordings? Or looking, I mean, I mean at, at videos and stuff? How did you do it? I mean, it's another great question. Nobody ever asked me that. Exactly. Uh, pictures, magazines, film, anything I could see where he was playing all these different snare drums, I would zero in. Oh, we played that then? Oh, we played this snare with that set? Exactly what did it. When you, when you put this together, um, I noticed that you also have drumsticks, you have pedals. Was that also part of it, or did that, did that come after the fact? That came after. Once this got rolling, I said, well, can I find the drumsticks he played in that era with that company? And I started hunting those. And I, I have to add, not easy to find either. Oh my god, I looked at these Rogers, I'm like, where did he find these? They're NOS. Never played. I found them in the bag. Yeah, near impossible to find. Where? <laughs> you know, you're not gonna believe, you'll believe me, eBay. Really? But at least 10 years ago. Oh, okay. When this stuff used to pop up with more frequency. Right, Yeah. right. However, the downside of that was, it was expensive. Everybody wanted them, so people are bidding against each other and the prices are going up. And I lost more pairs of sticks because I didn't want to pay that. But I finally got them. Well, good for you. The WFLs, near impossible. Brand new, NOS. Those are like late 40s, 50s era. And where did you find those? One came from a collector. One, eBay. Okay, eBay again. 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 Okay. But like I said, at least a decade ago. You know, you think you're going to go to a drum show, or I used to, and find this stuff. It just no, doesn't you happen, don't, you and don't you find know it. that. It you just don't. doesn't you happen. Don't find it. You don't find you know, it. It's got to be someone someone knows, a reflector, and they put you to, yeah, you know. I understand. So tell me about this drum kit. This is uh, very impressive. Geez. I'm a Rogers guy, as I know you are. Uh, I know. That's uh, why I'm asking you. <laughs> I gig. Why not a Rogers? What's that? Why not a Rogers? Well, I do have the Rogers. Oh, okay. I gig on a set of 65 Buddy Rich celebrities. Okay. And I love them. And for my money, I never thought Buddy sounded better than when he was playing Rogers. That's just my opinion. I started doing these snare drums, and I started seeing more and more WFL footage. These popped up like a crocus out of the snow. <laughs> That's great. That's great. I, I grabbed them. I didn't need them. My wife goes, another drum set. <laughs> yeah. But, hon, you don't get it. These are like buddies. 1950s. So that's how that worked. Uh, the amazing thing is, it's the buddy model. Chrome hardware, twin 16s, 24. Hard, you just don't find it that way. No, you way. don't. You don't find it that way. Wait, actually, I, I'm not being factual. The floor stands I had to add later. Those were near impossible to find. Near impossible, but I did find them. But the drums were all there, and, and look how they look. They're, it's beautiful. Yeah. It's a beautiful set of drums. It really, really is. Ah, uh, the canister thrown. Yes. Unfortunately, it doesn't match the era of the set, but the White Marine Pearl matched, and it's Ludwig. It's about mid-60s, mm -hmm. so I grabbed it. Good for you. I do want to say it had to be completely restored. The top was redone by a friend of mine. He's a professional upholsterer. Look, okay. at, look at that. Yeah, it's, it's beautiful. I polished out the aluminum, blah, blah, blah. You know the rest. It matches nice. 
Well, I wanted to stop by because I think this is an amazing display, and I want to thank you for coming by. And uh, it's breathtaking. It's truly well, breathtaking. You. And you know, especially coming from you, uh, well, you have a killer collection. Well, but this is breathtaking, and I want to thank you so much. And uh, it, it, it's, I mean, uh, it's, I, I'm speechless. Oh. So th thanks for bringing it. Thanks for coming all the way from Connecticut. I mean, I know you came a long way. Thank the Vintage Drum Guide for helping you do this. And um, thanks again, and uh, good luck. All right, you know, I hope to see you again. I hope you do this again. I don't know if you will. This is a, an amazing collection and an undertaking. We're already talking about the 30th anniversary. So. Oh, good, good. Well, take care of yourself, and thanks very much.